welcome back. As I mentioned, we have Jeff Parker here. Welcome. Happy uh, Tuesday to you. And uh, you weren't here last Tuesday, but uh, welcome back. Yeah, first time in July, right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. And I know we said we weren't going to do this, but we do need to talk about COVID a little bit here. We've got some upticks and some numbers. So just, just a small uptick on um, what we're seeing with the Delta variant out there is that people that are not vaccinated are, is where you're seeing the uptick. And mm -hmm. so 331 cases, um, we were way down below 100 oh. in, in cases. So that's a, that's a pretty good uptick. And they've seen that for the last couple of days. So just wanna make people aware of that. Now, the, the good news is that the hospitalizations are still way low, um, so that's all we, we've talked about, how important that is. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, one death. I, I did want to mention relative to the village numbers that we're at, um, which is encompassing the whole city of Laguna Woods. Um, we were at 422 cases and, and with 50 deaths a month ago. And la as of yesterday, now they haven't updated today, but. We're up 425 and 53. Mm -hmm. So we've gone up um, three cases and all three cases, or a correlating for some reason, that there were three additional deaths in, oh. in the community. Okay. So the importance that I wanted to mention was that the, it's still important for people that are non-vaccinated to wear their mask when they're going inside buildings, mm -hmm. um, whether that's restaurants or wherever their activity is that when they're inside, if they haven't been vaccinated, it's important it's kind of on them to do it. Um, sure. There's nobody out there that I think is being the mask police anymore. Certainly we're not doing that there, but just out of the courtesy for others who have been vaccinated and who others who haven't been vaccinated that you may be in contact with, mm -hmm. wearing the mask is the best thing to do. So okay. I just wanted to mention that. And uh, okay. onward and upward, we're, as, as we say, we've reopened and we're having more and more activity here at the clubhouses and, right. and at the community center. And we notice people walking in. We just want to make sure that everybody is safe. That's exactly. What it comes down. Exactly. Yeah, there has been a lot more activity downstairs. People are getting back to socializing. We've been interviewing several of the clubs who are very excited about having their uh, meetings now in person at the clubhouses. So certainly welcome relief for the most part. Absolutely. And getting those reservations last week, we started the getting the reservation process going up for um, between the clubhouses between now and December, where people can individuals can go in and, and book a room. Mm. Um, and and the, we were in a sense overwhelmed with the number of people. We had over 100 people that came oh, wow. in that that first day oh. just to just to seek reservations because they're so hard to find anywhere else out there in the in the community. Oh, okay. You know, so now, so, but then, should those hundred people have, or should they have gone online to do this? It would have been easier for them to go online, but they they they're just they're they're wanting to come in and talk to the staff. So we had we had a special setup on the very first day down at Clubhouse One, where it, oh, okay. where we had our recreation staff ready to go. Okay. Um, and, but it went all day because we had so many people, and so there were some people that had to wait a little while because it takes about twenty minutes. Um, in some cases, 30 minutes to process right. because they're coming in and ask for multiple reservations. Oh. So um, people lined up and people had to wait a little bit. And we, um, we're sorry for the wait, but we did get everybody processed that day. So that's what counts. Okay. So yeah, I know they wanted to come in. Um, however, it did put quite a strain on the staff to have that many people all day there. So if if in the future they would like to make reservations, they, they should can, go to the, the active, active net, net, right? Okay. Correct. Okay, good. So, you know, hopefully they can do that next time and not have to go, you know, down there and wait in the line and, you know. I Make know. it easier try on both. Their, try their first, and then if that doesn't work out, then then go down. Make right. it easier okay. on both. Yeah. Okay. All right, excellent. Now, we have been talking to the boards, and most of them were up to their eyeballs in budgets. <laughs> exactly. And now they're going to be up to their eyeballs in a few vacancies. Well, they have that. I'm going to talk about the budgets real quick okay. since you said that. And I'll segue. So this week is what we call our first big budget week. Um, and we start Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with all of the boards having their individual budgets um, presented to the um, and this is all the work that they've done, mm -hmm. the boards have done already, and staff has done pulling um, all of our pre-meetings together. Mm -hmm. And so this is the first kind of overview of the full budget for each of those mutuals. Right. Um, so Wednesday will be GRF at 1.30, um, and Thursday will be United at 
and third will be Friday at 9.30. And we're still working out the details with regards to whether or not it's gonna be virtual or not. So okay. we'll, we'll make sure when that announcement gets out there, um, how that's going to be, um, those meetings are gonna be run. But either way, people will be able to watch and participate from that perspective. Okay, are they, now I did mention earlier that the United meeting is Today uh, is, following. Is, is here and in, in the board so they room. can they can go downstairs into the board meeting and sit sit outside well not outside yep. but in, in the in outskirts mm -hmm. okay i yep. wanted to make sure that that was still correct but with regards to the budget meetings we haven't oh whether or not those are, okay yeah. gotcha okay all right good so let's uh let's go ahead and talk about some of the vacancies so we've yeah, got a so, third yeah so third has a vacancy right now um and that's due to debbie dotson got elected to grf mm. and so that created a vacancy in third so they uh, started nominations. People can submit their applications, nomination process, as we call it, um, started July 6th, and that ends on the 20th. So okay. if you're interested, um, you can contact the corporate secretary and they give, can give you all the information and that's right. um, um, available down there with Cheryl. Uh, Cheryl Silva is our uh, corporate secretary and I'll give you the phone number there in a second. And, and that closes on the 20th of July and then they're going to make their appointment on the 27th, the Tuesday oh, okay. of the 27th. So that's a quick turnaround for that vacancy that they want to fill. The telephone number for um, Cheryl is 949-268-2383. Okay. Um, and that way, if you have any questions, you can get a hold of Cheryl and she can give the, uh, any of the candidate if you're interested. Okay. The other one I wanted to mention was in the larger scheme of the elections coming up in the fall, um, the nominations open, ju open June 30th and close um, July 30th for United. So I wanted to just oh. mention that. So it's a month long process where people can submit their applications. Then the ballot itself is ma mailed out in the latter part of August. Mm -hmm. And then the actual ballots are due back in September and then they're counted in, in okay. October. Okay. So um, that process is now underway as well as far as people coming in saying, hey, I'm interested, I want to get the paperwork, yeah. um, so that they get that paperwork in by uh, July 30th. And is that also the same location to go to the corporate secretary? Yeah, corporate okay. secretary as okay. well. Wonderful, well good. Well great, I'm, I'm glad that you were able to be here and give us an update and uh, we'll have you back next week and hopefully we won't have to talk about COVID numbers. Hopefully not and we'll we talk a, not. a little bit more about how things are going out there in the, in the world of getting all our activities going and good. opening up more and um, how we're doing with regards to those activities. Sounds perfect, thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, stick around, we've got the City of Hope coming right up. <laughs>